absolutely delighted now to be joined by uh, Jürgen Kubal. Jürgen, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. Now, what do you think are some of the more interesting scientific developments coming out of uh, this year's meeting? I think very booming is really the development of immunotherapy in the field of hematology. And you see that first people started with alpha beta T cells exploring this population, better understand what they are doing. But more and more people are moving in understanding the molecular interaction between the receptor and its ligand. And they understand that it's not only an alpha beta T cell, but a lot of immune cells we have as a baby. And these immune cells are, for example, gamma delta T cells. These are made protect us to protect us from infection and we now learn that they're also able to protect us against cancer and understanding this molecular mechanism and translating them into the clinic I think that's one of the challenges of the next five to ten years. You talk about that as uh, as one of the challenges and a lot of those this meeting's already got a lot of attention for some of the developments that you've been talking about. How does this work get translated into the clinic? Oh, I think a big advantage for this development is that we have now CAR-Ts in the clinic. We have first FDA approvals. So piggybacking on the developments which are there on all the clinical uh, really platforms you need to generate to distribute the drug will help. To just take another receptor, put it again in an alpha beta T cell, use the same distribution channels uh, to reach patients like that. So I think it's, it's rather straightforward uh, given this new developments uh, in, in the clinic. And what do you think we would look forward to, if we're looking forward to next year, what sort of developments do you think we'll see? I think first challenge will be whether these new genetically engineered immune cells are really reaching the market. And one thing you cannot emphasize enough, and we said it also in a statement paper from the EBMT, is that the price and affordability, I think, is one of the critical items. Um, and a pharma needs to learn that, of course, a drug has a price, but it must be a reasonable price, because uh, if the healthcare system cannot afford the pricing, uh, then uh, both have a problem, pharma as well as the patient. And with your talking with uh, big pharma companies, how's that going? Do they understand that? I think that's a, a difficult discussion from the perspective of the individual healthcare professional. However, and that's why I like EBMT, I think EBMT as a healthcare professional organization can really create a voice and we can use the voice on the one hand to talk to the stakeholders um, in terms of pharma and uh, discuss pricing, affordability, distribution channels, quality. On the other hand, an important channel we opened in the last years is also to talk with EMA, with authorities. Uh, with uh, bodies in different countries right. to discuss how do we ensure that the quality is good, that we know that the drug is worth its price and that people are well enough trained to also administer the drug. Talking on a collective basis, talk us through what's happening with the registry. Yeah, the registry is sort of the backbone of EBMT and existing since 1974. And originally just meant as a voluntary data collection of transplants because transplant is a very uncontrolled field. Right. We're using drugs which are not registered for the purpose, we're using a cell product which is very diverse and afterwards also the treatment of patients is not very well defined. And with the treatment, um, uh, putting all the variables in the registry, we will be able to learn over time what might be the best care of practice for the patient. And this is now taken to a next step because stem cell transplantation hopefully will one day disappear and will be replaced by individual cell therapies. And therefore I think it's a milestone for the organization but also for the community in Europe that we set up a cell therapy registry which is harmonized with American colleagues and which we can use to capture all these new drugs and look at efficacy, potency and affordability for the European uh, community. Well, Jürgen, thank you very much for that. We look forward to catching up with you next year in Frankfurt to hearing more. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.